All right, welcome back to the station, Destination Debbie. Y'all know who it is. It's your boy GQ. And on this episode, we are going to do a Dynasty Startup Mock Draft. I am live with the patrons. The patrons are in the building. A couple of guys in here already talking trash. And uh, we're going to do a mock draft. We're going to do a Dynasty Startup Mock Draft. And I'm going to take the approach tonight to build a team with youth that's competitive or, you know, competitive early on. Um, but can be an absolute powerhouse later on. So I'm just drafting against the computer myself. Um, the settings, Dynasty 2QB startup. That way there's some premium on the quarterbacks, right? So I'm just using the Dynasty 2QB setting as my super flex settings. Um, we're only going 12 bench spots deep. Start one quarterback. You got a super flex spot, two running backs, three wide receivers, and a tight end. In this mock, no tight end premium. So we're just assuming PPR. And the goal is not just to draft a bunch of rookies. It's to really do this exercise without like completely tanking, right? And just reaching for rookies. Like I want to make good valued picks here. I'm not just going to reach for Trey Sermon in the third round because I want to draft a rookie running back. Let's let's see how the board unfolds and I'll make my kind of analysis as to why I pick said young player. But the goal of this exercise for this show, super flex, dynasty startup, Build your team young and youthful without reaching for draft picks. Because I see a lot of people try to do like this productive struggle approach and they just reach for players. Michael Carter in the fourth of a dynasty startup, uh, you know, w name some Josh Palmer in the 10th because I just want to take all rookies. Like, let's make this realistic and actionable. So as we go through, uh, the patrons are going to be jumping in and off of the screen telling me if I made good picks, bad picks, or just give their thoughts and feedback. So I'm a draft out of the 106 spot. Again, this is 2QB, Superflex, Dynasty, build the team young, and uh, let's get it popping. Let's see what the squad has to say about my drafting skills. All right. So right off the board, right off the bat, right, uh, the picks, Christian McCaffrey, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Kyler Murray, Justin Herbert. There's no way, you know, well, I don't want to say there's no way, but Patrick Mahomes over Josh Allen, come on. Uh, and then you get Kyler Murray, Justin Herbert at the 106 spot, right? The quarterbacks that are on the board, you got Lamar, Dak Prescott, Trevor Lawrence. You know, Dak is my personal dynasty QB3. Love Lamar, but I just, I don't, it's super flex. You want to secure your quarterback early. But I do think the ability to get a young running back right here and then grab me a quarterback back in round two, I think that's a high probability so I'm going to go off the beaten path right here, and I'm going to forego the quarterback position, and I'm not going to take Saquon Barkley. Dalvin Cook is a little too old for me with what I'm trying to build. So I'm going to take Jonathan Taylor, 106, in a dynasty startup over, you know, Lamar Jackson, over Dak Prescott, because I do believe I'll be able to catch another quarterback at the 207 that's pretty talented, and I'll be happy with that quarterback. I'm not going to be happy with potentially the running back that's there in the second. So I'm going JT right here at 106. Saquon Barkley, Lamar Jackson, Dalvin Cook, Prescott, Derrick Henry, and T-Law round out the first. Justin Jefferson, Alvin Kamara, Tyreek Hill, Russell Wilson, A.J. Brown, and Nick Chubb next off of the board. So here I am at the 207 spot. You know, Cam Akers, Najee Harris, look at the quarterbacks. And yeah, there's Joe Burrow, Justin Fields, Trey Lance, Jalen Hurts, Aaron Rodgers, and Deshaun Watson. So right here, after starting out with the stud young running back, I think I'm going to take Joe Burrow, the stud young quarterback, out of Cincinnati. And let's see what the squad says. JT, they, they like the JT pick, it looks like. Uh, we agree that, yeah, Mahomes has to be the 101, but... Because of what happened and went, you know, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes back to back, it kind of doesn't, kind of doesn't matter, right? Like the same thing, we got the same effect. Those quarterbacks were off of the board, board first. So right here at 207, I'm going to resume the draft and I'm going to grab my young stud quarterback in Joe Burrow. Cam Akers, Devontae Adams, J.K. Dobbins, D.K. Metcalf, Najee Harris, DeAndre Swift, Stephon Diggs, DeAndre Hopkins, Antonio Gibson, Travis Kelsey come off of the board. And I'm back up at the 306 spot. We're going to pause this. So right now, Justin Fields, Trey Lance, Jalen Hurts available at quarterback. Zeke, Clyde, Aaron Jones at running back. A uh, little too old Zeke and Aaron Jones. Clyde, maybe. Let's see. Wide receivers, 
CeeDee Lamb, Calvin Ridley, Jamar Chase. Do I do the Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow stack? Is this reaching? Is this appropriate for a rookie wide receiver? And yes, I do believe Kyle Pitts is there. George Kittle and Kyle Pitts. No tight end premium. Not going to take the tight end, so let's go ahead and rule that out. Not going to take any of the running backs, so let's go ahead and rule that out. Do I take Justin Fields and Trey Lance here and have my two quarterbacks of the future locked up? Or do I take Jamar Chase and pair him with Joe Burrow? And is this reaching to stack Joe Burrow with Jamar Chase? I don't think I can do it now. Um, You know, will one of those quarterbacks be there for me? I just can't risk it. I can't risk it. You know, I'm playing this for real. And if I've got an opportunity to go Joe Burrow and Justin Fields, I'm just going to – I'll take another wide receiver, man. Maybe I'll get T. Higgins a little bit later, but I'm not going to pass on Justin Fields at the 306 spot. So, here we go. I hope the squad liked that pick. Uh, They're saying Lance. I'm seeing some C.D. Lamb. Uh, Lamb, no premium. Oh, C.D. or Chase. So, they must not have liked my pick. All right, but look at this. All right, so as I'm as I'm reading through comments on here, let's let's pause the draft. No other quarterback came off of the board, so part of me feels like, damn, I could have waited on quarterback. Another part of me is, do I go three young quarterbacks right here in a dynasty startup? Do I take Trey Lance? Do I take you know? Jalen Hurts or Deshaun Watson, or do I look at the running back position? If I'm going youthful, have to be like Travis Etienne or Javante Williams at wide receiver. You know, Jamar Chase is gone. CeeDee Lamb is gone. Michael Thomas is gone. Terry McLaurin is gone. That's that's not good. Uh, Kyle Pitts is gone. So, I mean, I, I think it's way too early to force wide receiver. Like, I, you know, Allen, Allen Robinson is there, but he's out of my age window. Godwin right on the threshold. So it's like DJ Moore, Travis Etienne, or Trey Lance. And if this is a super flex league in a dynasty startup, the most valuable player for me on the board is the quarterback position. And I think I'm going to have to start three straight quarterbacks. Now, not all the way ideal, but... We, I did get Jonathan Taylor early, early, so I don't, you know, I've got my stud running back. I don't have to worry about quarterback until the last round. You know, I can take a flyer on Kyle Trask. I can take a flyer on Kellen Mond. I'm set. And if I want to use one of those quarterbacks as a trade piece to, let's say, downgrade to Ryan Tannehill plus, downgrade to Baker Mayfield plus, I've got that flexibility. So I think right here, the 407, I got to take Trey Lance. Quarterback from San Francisco. So here we go. Miles Sanders, Josh Jacobs, Austin Eckler, Travis Etienne, Jalen Hurts, David Montgomery, Chris Godwin, DJ Moore, Mark Andrews, and Keenan Allen off of the board. So here I am at the 506 spot. Let's, uh, let's pause this draft. Let's put this down. I don't I don't think I – well, I want y'all to be able to see who's available. So um, I'm not taking quarterback again. I'm not taking Deshaun Watson. So we're done there. Javante Williams. I like that. Load up with another running back. Wide receiver is still deep, right? T. Higgins is still there. If I wanted to take him to stack him with Burrow, Devontae Smith, y'all know how I feel about him. Brandon Ayuk, man, think if I can get the the Higgins Ayuk stack with both of those quarterbacks, that'd be that'd be nasty. Um, and tight end, uh, Hawkinson, Goddard, not really worried about it. Uh, I think right here I'm going to go Javonta Williams. I'm going to go uh, J. T. and Javonta Williams is my is my staple kind of dynasty young team running backs. And I don't think at the 506, uh, this is a reach for Javante Williams. So going Williams at 5'6", Allen Robinson, Mike Evans, Amari Cooper, T. Higgins, Matt Stafford, Carson, Claypool, Kareem Hunt, Jerry Judy, damn it, Devonta Smith, damn it, Hawkinson, Zach Wilson off of the board next. So let's pause this. Let's look down the board. Let's look at our roster one time. Jonathan Taylor, Joe Burrow, Justin Fields, Trey Lance, Javonta Williams, and we're here in the 6-7. Let's see what the – oh, man, let's see what the squad says. Jerry Judy, I haven't seen Lance in the third. You're falling for the productive struggle trap if you go three straight young QBs. Oh, God. This is why this this is a good exercise, man. This is a good exercise. Fourth, I mean, you can trade Lance for way more than Judy. Very true. 
Uh, Darren said, ETN for me, Watson or Tua should be in there next round. And was he right? Let's see, was he right? Deshaun Watson, Tua. So if I would have done what Darren said, I could have had Travis ETN right there and still had uh, Tua and Watson. And this goes to Stone's point. I agree. He said you're falling for the productive struggle approach. Yeah, I mean, looking back at it, if I would have, you know, shit, I could have taken Kyle Pitts and gotten Deshaun Watson or Tua. <sighs> yeah, look how look how easy that is to fall into that even in a damn mock exercise, right? Like, the more I look at that, I mean, tr- Deshaun Watson was just Dynasty QB2 be- before all the other stuff went on and you know, now he's falling a bit, but yeah, I'm I'm kind of regretting the Trey Lance pick. I really am. Uh, I'm kind of regretting that, but I see how the rest of this goes out. So now um, I do want a wide receiver because James Robinson, Miles Gaskin, no thanks. I'm not taking another quarterback and I'm not going Noah Fant or Dallas Goddard. So I think the wide receiver that I have to take, and I don't feel great about Brandon Ayuk is my number one dynasty wide receiver for this team, but we're going to go Brandon Ayuk. So Jalen Waddle, Kenny Galladay, Noah Fant, Juju Smith-Schuster, Cooper Cup, DJ Chark, James Robinson, Julio Jones, 703, Miles Gaskin, <clears throat> Deontay Johnson, and I'm back up, Cortland Sutton, Robert Woods, Bateman, Chenault, running backs, uh, Ronald Jones, Trey Sermon, I don't know why that's the those are the only running backs they're showing, all right, Chase Edmonds, Fournette, <sighs> man, you know, right here, I'm going to go Cortland. How old is Cortland Sutton? Is he still? Yeah, he's 25, so still a younger player. We're going to go Cortland Sutton right here with Brandon Ayuk. Lockett, Wood, Chenault, Thielen, Rashad Bateman, Trey Sermon, OBJ, Debo Samuel, Dallas Goddard, Chase Edmonds, Michael Pittman, Ronald Jones. I'm back up. Wide receivers, you got like Rondell Moore, Elijah Moore, tight ends, Gasicki, Irv Smith, Hunter Henry, Tanyan. Running backs, you got Michael Carter, Mike Davis. He's old, so no Mike Davis. Zach Moss and quarterbacks. There's no way. There's no way in a super flex. So, I mean, this is, I mean, maybe it's because of this dynasty settings, the 2QB uh, dynasty settings, but there's no way Deshaun Watson and Tua fall to, you know, this range right here. There's no way. Baker, no no, no, no. But this is this is the mock, so fuck it. So right here, uh, I think I'm going to go wide receiver. And, oh, man, this is tough trying to, you know, follow this approach. I don't even want to look at the comments right now. But I think at this point, um, it's, it's just like get talented players, you know, dynasty startup. So I think... Rondell Moore is probably going to be my pick, and I'm going to try to, you know, get uh, Irv Smith a little bit later. So let's go Rondell Moore right here. I went three straight receivers, Ayuk, Sutton, Moore. A lot of variance in there, not a lot of stability. And maybe Sutton and Ayuk pretty stable, but all right. Deshaun Watson finally comes off the board. Mike Gesicki, Irv Smith is off of the board. So there goes that tight end plan that I had. And I feel like shit is falling apart quick, like – I'm, we're not even looking at quarterbacks anymore because all oh, that's BS. So for me, it's between Zach Moss and Damian Harris. Oh, let's go Damian Harris. Jesus. This is this is why you have to be flexible in your plan with these productive struggle approaches. Because, uh, I mean, shit is getting ugly quick. And I didn't realize I set this for like a million rounds, 20 rounds. So we got to speed this shit up because I'm not doing deep analysis on all 20 rounds, but Zach Moss still on the board. All right. Finally, like you've got other quarterbacks. Like I think if this were like kind of for real, for real, Mac Jones would have been gone or at least close to gone. He would have been gone by now. So I'm just going to forego the quarterback position. I got three early and looking at the rest of these running backs, man, gross. I think Terrace Marshall, Terrace Marshall would be to pick him, Tony, you know, Michael Gallup, one of those type of guys. So let's go resume this draft. And we are going to pick Terrace Marshall here in the 10th. So Terrace Marshall, Rager, Fournette, Daniel Jones, Mac Jones, at least they came off of the board. You know, Hollywood Brown, 
Evan Ingram, Brandon Cooks, James Conner, no thank you, does not fit what we're trying to do. Zach Moss is still there. Um, let's see what the comments are saying. They're probably ripping my team. I think we're going to go Zach Moss here. Let's get another running back. You can never have too many of those guys. I know, I said Mike Davis, my bad, Stone, my bad. Should have gone six, six straight quarterbacks. Got to capitalize on idiot drafters, even if it's the computer. Man, I got to make it a little bit entertaining, man. All right, Corey Davis, Mems, Ruggs, Fuller, Pollard, Gallup, Singletary, St. Brown, Kadarius Tony off of the board. Shit, Pat Fryermuth gone. Uh, I wonder if, okay, look at this, man. I, do I have a tight end yet? I don't have a tight end yet. And I'm going to make my tight end one, Cole Komet. Let's go Cole Komet. Right here is tight end one for you, boy. Darnell Mooney. Damn, I thought he might come around. Mooney. Uh, Gus Edwards. Nobody else is really young on this team. Uh, let's look at receivers. There's still a ton of young receivers that are, that are, that are younger. Uh, you got Elijah Mitchell at running back, but I can't go. I can't go Mitchell yet. So let's let's pause this and kind of talk through some of these wide outs. So now it's like get your guy rookie season, right? Deami Brown, Amari Rogers, Gabe Davis. I like Gabe Davis here. Dwayne Eskridge, sort of the best wide receivers available. Tight ends. I got Cole Komet, so that's okay. Um, it's not the worst young tight end. Uh, after that, I mean Hunter Long way down there. Adam Troutman. That wouldn't be bad to double up on Adam Troutman right here. But um, since we went commit, I think I like Troutman, man. I don't. I honestly don't hate that. So I'm going to go Adam Troutman. I just doubled up on tight ends. I'm in rounds, you know, 12 and 13. So I doubled up on tight end, Troutman, and commit. It's cool. It's cool. Right, we'll finish this out, man. We're, we're close. Nelson Aguilar, Dami Brown. McCall Hardman, really the, the the next young wide receivers, and Amari Rogers off of the board, trying to stick with the youth theme here, and Gabe Davis is staring us down. Uh, Terrace Marshall was the last wide receiver we took in round 10, so we're going to go Gabe Davis out of Buffalo here. Christian Kirk, Paris Campbell, Marvin Jones, Ramondre Stevenson, Javion Hawkins in the 15th, Nico Collins, Blake Jarwin, Dwayne Eskridge. So, again, it's get your guys season. Um, young running backs available is really Elijah Mitchell, the only ones that we kind of have confidence in. So we're going to take the last kind of running back that we have confidence in. We're in round 15. It may not do shit, but we're going to take him, right? Still have Rondell over Elijah. I do. I do. Wow. Deshaun just went, hold on, let me move myself. Deshaun just went six in a startup I'm in with Cody Carpentier and Ray Ray. Wow. Wow, I just took I took him in the second round of the start of it, 212. Went the six. Shit, maybe this is right. Stone, your RB room is gonna be ugly. Oh man, they're ki dude, it's the exercise, y'all. It's the exercise. Set the clock to no timer. Well, that's probably a good idea. I probably can do that. Computer will still pick quickly. Thank you. We will learn for the next one. Oh. It's it's going. I, I timed out. So Cole Beasley got picked. He screwed up my entire thing. That's all right. We were talking through some players. We were talking through some players. Now I'm on auto pick. Now I'm on fucking auto right now. Come on, GQ. Come on. Pause this thing. All right. And get me off of auto pick. There we go. So I got auto picked, but it's okay. Khalil Herbert was there. I could erase this, but it doesn't even matter. I think the bigger point is, like, at this point of the draft, like, you've already successfully did your, like, productive struggle. So there's no point in just being, like, Tutu Atwell, uh, Anthony Schwartz. Just pick, you know, whatever random players are kind of left. And you're, I meant, I meant finish the draft. But, you know, for the sake of this, like, we're just going to pick the youngest guys available. Like, we're not going to do get too cute here. Um, so I just want to get through that and get through this and talk about it. So let's take Tutu Atwell here. Running back room is already, I've already been told it's going to be bad for me in the running back room. This is a point where I would take a young quarterback, right? Whether that's Dwayne Haskins, if uh, Kellen Mond, he went off the board, Kyle Trask went off the board, but I would definitely take a young quarterback just, just in case something pans out this late. I always take shots on quarterbacks. I think that's a good little tip. Just, you know, in your draft, maybe 30 rounds. But if a Dwayne Haskins is sitting there in the 30th, 
take a shot. He might end up being a starter quarterback. Mitchell Trubisky, whatever. You know, if something happens to Josh Allen, I, you got Mitch Trubisky on your team. So uh, the, the, the crux of this team started out with a stud running back, three straight young quarterbacks, Burrow, Justin Fields, Trey Lance, to pair with Jonathan Taylor. And then stuff started to get a little dicey, right? Running back was already ugly because I'm taking this approach to to build with rookies, not everybody else. So, you know, Jamal Williams is here in the fifth as my second running back. Brandon Ayuk, Cortland Sutton as my, you know, staple wide receivers, wide receiver one, wide receiver two. And then rookie Rondell Moore, like could be super good, could be Tavon Austin. You know, we hope he's really good. Damian Harris is my RB3. Could be worse, but not great, not ideal. Terrace Marshall, I like that as my wide receiver four. Zach Moss, not a bad running back four. Cole Komet and Adam Troutman as my top two tight ends. They're tight end twos right now. Maybe they can be tight end ones back end, but that doesn't even really matter. They won't be elite tight ends. Gabe Davis down there as wide receiver five. Elijah Mitchell, running back five. And then it just like was the end of the thing. I missed a couple of picks. Cole Beasley, Curl, Her- Cur- Khalil Herbert, Tutu Atwell. But at the end of like dynasty drafts, if you got backup quarterbacks like Haskins, Trubisky that are still young sitting around, you might as well take a shot on them. It's not going to hurt your team. So just wanted to do this exercise with y'all real quick. One mock draft, dynasty, two QB, super flex, PPR, no tight end premium. Trying to build a roster that was productive struggle without being absolute like reaches at every position. Tried to let the value fall where it did. And uh, that's how the team looks. This is a team that's probably going to have a high lottery draft pick next year. Probably not going to be very good in year one. Um, and you're really banking on a couple of things to, to pop. But you do have, you know, some stud quarterbacks, some stud running backs and some solid wide receivers. But have to build depth elsewhere. Not particularly how I like to build my dynasty rosters, especially at these prices, but uh, it could work depending on how in tune your league is. But I don't think that works here. Don't think that works now. Don't think it works under these settings. So we will try something different on the next show. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Thank you for the patrons, the squad members uh, who who commented and told me uh, that it was good and bad, like the tight ends. Troutman is tight end one, Hidden Jim, Blake Jarwin. You know, I agree. I'd like to see this done on another slide site. Sleeper doesn't have very good rankings. I mean, it was that or Fantasy Pros. So y'all tell me which one. Uh, talking about practice, got Watson at 206. So I guess Watson is, you know, around there. Stone, what have we learned? I think I kind of explained that a little bit just now. So um, that's a monster QB run. I think if I had to answer this question in a nutshell, be very flexible with these kind of drafts. I know you want to get in here and do productive struggle and just take straight rookies, but I, I would be very, I, if if your plan has to deviate some, don't reach, um, which I don't think Lance was a reach at all, right, to get him at 407, but I, I could have had, you know, ETN, DJ Moore, Godwin, and still had a chance at, you know, Zach Wilson or Tua or hell, Deshaun Watson, who said some people have gotten him in the sixth um, go. So I think that's my takeaway. I know we want to do this approach. I know it's fun. I know it sounds fun, the productive struggle. But I think sometimes you just got to be really flexible. If, if the first three rounds only made sense, which I think the first three rounds made sense here, Burrow and Fields, like who's upset about Taylor, Burrow, Fields? Nobody. Right here is where things probably could have took a different turn. And uh, I don't know, but we'll do this again. Maybe it depends on the draft slot. Maybe if you're at the back of the round, it makes more sense. I don't know. We'll play with this because I know a lot of people like this strategy, but I uh, appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Really, really do. Catch y'all later this week with more content. I'm out. Peace.